all right so let's start with the form validations now and install these packages react hook form yup and uh, hook form slash resolvers so this is gonna combine our yup schema with our react hook form so that we can validate the errors if any and install those I've already did that so I'm not gonna do that again so let's go to a login now and what to do <coughs> okay so we can start by writing a schema I believe so validation schema and this will be yup oh, I need to import it first so import star as yup from yup and this will have yup dot object I believe and I think we also have shape kind of thing yup dot shape no, object dot shape what the hell and what do we have here hmm. so we have our username and we have our password so we can do is username and this will be yup dot string and required and if it's not there in the form data then we need to show some message and the message will be um, username let's create a constants file for because we need that so inside source create a folder called source in the root and inside that we will all we will have our utils and stuff so constants or ts and this will have required message required validation message and this will be huh is required go back <coughs> and we can do some backticks here and username and this will be required this one and so it's login we need, don't need to uh, restrict the length of the username and the password because we will do that in the register form so so password and password is required as well because we don't want to submit the form unless we have all the fields so that's fine and this is fine and we can also put this inside use memo so what use memo does is in layman's term it does it will cache this uh, whatever this uh, schema is and we have our empty array here which means that uh, it will only declare this uh, when the component enters the first time and uh, following all the re-renders of the component it will not be you know uh, recreated again so yeah this is this will be cached into this and it will only change according to the dependencies in the empty array and which is empty of course but if I put something if I you know if I do some count here and set count and use state and this is zero for now and if I uh, you know create a button and uh, on the click of the button the count will increment by one then if I put the put the you know count variable here so whenever the count variable changes then this schema will be recreated but we don't want that we only want to want it to be created once when the component mount so that's why and okay enough theory uh, let's start with the use form now use form so this is hook is coming from react hook form yeah and here we need to provide what we need to provide our uh, resolver and this will be yep resolver I believe come on typescript um, import from hook form slash resolvers and this will have yup no 
okay slash yep yeah yep yes this one and yep resolver and this takes in the schema and which we just created so validation schema and what's the problem yeah it's happy now and this gives us back some uh, utilities so we want handle submit and we want errors no errors errors where is the errors and we want register and we want wells I think that's it for now and we also want errors but there is no intelligence for errors why 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 all this huh okay we'll get back to it and what else mode revalidate mode we don't need any of this go back so this handle submit will gives us the will give us the form data when the form is submitted so what we can do here is we can do handle submit and we can do handle login here and that's how login will have our form data here and this will be form data or simply data and its type will be and I think it's time we write some interfaces so interfaces .ts and export interface and this will be i login and this will have username of string and password of password of string yeah go back this will be of type i login and we need to pass it here as well so i login and i don't know why but errors are not there hmm. we'll get back to it and what's the problem we don't need that react hook form will handle that prevent default things and form submitted we don't need that uh, login form data and just simply data hmm. all right <coughs> so now we need to use the register hook we imported we need to link the react hook form to our form fields and this will be this one ref and pass the register here and register will take in what um, no we will handle the validation via yup so this uh, generally takes in the um, the validations but uh, like we can pass some regular expression here max min length and pattern and all that the react hook form gives us but we are using yup so we don't need that so I'm gonna skip that and this name is important and what's your problem use this this, this is not a slant okay okay yeah we'll get back to it so username is important because that's how it's gonna look for the form field so we also need to pass the name to our input and this will be username and if I just simply copy it and paste it here and this will be password and mm, yeah I think functionality is done coding rather let's now debug the type errors okay so I was not wrong react hook form has changed so yeah this is the new version we installed and this has some changes and register now goes as the attribute of the input so we need to spread it like this what the hell man register 
and this will have username and same goes for the puppy yellow this one and will be password so and for our errors errors now come into form state and this will have errors and I will show you what errors are and let's log them here errors errors just go here and save go back and where's our local host there and see we don't have any errors yet and if I click submit then we have an error or we have errors password is required cool and username is required damn okay so if I do this hello p and submit you see login form data username password form submitted successfully so now we need to handle the errors and and this greenish thing is coming from the class validate from materialize where is it mm, where are you oh come on validate this one so anyway um, where was I errors yes so uh, how do you want to do this materialize gives us utility class called helper text and this has a class of red text to make a text red and this will have errors dot username um, dot message and this will always this will not always be something it can be null errors can be null of course so this needs to happen here so errors if we have an error of username then we want to do this then only we want to do this so this one. and same goes for our password puppy so where are you here are you and this will be password and go back reload submit and we have a username is required and password is required so um, and it focuses on the first field which doesn't mat match the validation it's all reactive form so yeah mm, and what else we can also do some red things here but is it really necessary I mean what the hell UI takes a lot of time and it never gets over so let's test it class name the text if I do then what's gonna happen okay label worked and if I also do so I think this bar wouldn't work because <coughs> so yeah let's skip it and what we can do here is if label worked then we can simply um, what we can simply say sorry, if um, errors dot if we have an error of username then we want to make a class of what the hell make a class of red text otherwise this will be empty string okay so now see this is it and I'm not gonna bother about this greenish thing here so let's also do this for the password and this one and this will be password and let's remove you and mm, this will always be a class validate and I'll show you what its purpose is in a sec but uh, why did I put it inside the input 
so we need to do that inside the label this one what the hell copy and this one and this will be password so if I hit submit username is required password is required then cool and if I put the password then also cool and login submit and we have a login form data and what else hmm. so we can also simply provide the attribute of required in the input as well required so nothing stopping us to be to put the extra security layer and this is the browser validation and if I click submit then uh, it will prompt us to require uh, fill this field and our yep validation errors will be will not be shown of course because the browser prompted us in the first place so never reached to the code and if we do that then it's gonna do the same thing so it's optional you can put the required or you can make things pretty with the errors I'm not gonna I'll just commit it for learning purposes and this will be this one. and reload I think that's enough with the form now and this will be username and this will be one two three and this will be this one I made some changes first automobile two off to the form so that it doesn't suggest unnecessary or past history of usernames <laughs> and what else so I've removed the label or commit it out rather and just simply put the placeholder here because there was some problem of up and down of the label based on the form validation so let's just be simple and what else yeah submit we have our validations here username required password required uh, you can also dig in uh, and put the CSS classes inside this and this as well but uh, this is not a UI tutorial so let's just move forward you can always uh, enhance the UI and you should enhance the project altogether so I'm not gonna remove those labels just keep them for learning purposes and now we can simply go back or go to our register form and just yes simply copy it go back and let's create the register now so components um, this one and paste and this will be login no this will be register and this will be also register and what else username password fine 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 and did I see login here hmm. so we will change the interface in a second but uh, uh, I think we should so the register interface will have I register and this will have username password what else name email so name email username password yeah I think that's enough and we don't need you um, yeah go back we don't want you we want I register and we want you to be I register and this will be also I register and this will be register form data and now let's also do you register and let's remove the labels we have them in login for learning purposes but no point keeping them here move it and also um, this will be handle register handle handle register 
if I can type so let's focus on the schema so all right this will be uh, this will be much more advanced than the login stuff so let's first have the name and we say name is required and we say email and email will be required and I believe we have our email validation type in yep yes so, and I believe that we have access to the message okay so we can do email is not valid hmm. so name email username password okay and let's also do what min max so we can do um, min of 3 x of 5 and we have access to a message and this will be let's see what it gives without message to save and we have I for username as well min of 5 I think we should cross check from our backend but uh, let's just see what we have after writing this first password min of 8 and max of 30 we will cross check with the backend in a second but let's go to register and we have our register and what we have username is required and if I yeah username must be at least five characters I think that's pretty neat message we don't need to override it so um, now username password let's copy both of them here and copy and come back and this will be name type text fine name fine fine and this will be name this will be enter your name and this will be this will be name and this will be of ID will be email type will be email and where I did find name email um, email and enter your email and this will be email okay so go back there we go our fields name is required email is required username is required and password is required if I put the name one and name must be at least three characters so if I put way much more name must be at most five characters cool so let's do this and um, email and please include at the rate and if you want custom validations here then we can simply put this into a comment and we can say text if you want fancy validations then by all means you can do that so this will be this and this one email is not valid cool and username username must be this 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 cool uh, I think we have a limit there I'm not gonna cross it so and password password must be at least eight characters yeah now the form should submit so submit no oh email is not valid okay email will be what John Doe 
at the rate do dot com and rest of form data, email, name, password, username, cool. So, hmm. I think we are done with the forms, and we can move on to integrating our backend. Uh, I mean, we should submit the form data to the backend and uh, log in and register the user, and we will also need to. um show the notifications so we can use materialized toast but uh, i think uh, i found another library which is pretty cool and we will use that react notify as it or something like that we will get back to it in the next video but uh, and this min max validation i will cross check from the backend and put that here uh, whatever the numbers are there in the ecto chain set i don't think there's any need to show you uh if you have watched the backend then there is no hustle in that and yeah that's pretty much it and we will start to integrate uh, the backend in the next video and we will install swr and set up it for the uh, we will post the form to the server and all that so yeah i'll see you in the next one